In this video I'll be showing you how to set up uh, minhook and hook swap buffers so that you can render stuff. But first I want to give a special thanks to Axo because uh, he made a video about this a while ago and that's what I used to learn this. Also he has some GNI tutorials as well if you want to follow those. But he uses a bunch of useful abstraction in Visual Studio. So not really too useful. Alright, so first uh, go here, download minhook, you can download the zip, or you can go to releases and download the source code. So then open, uh, I mean, I downloaded, like, place all the files in here. So this is like the HD stuff, and this is like the minhook. Um, minhook, change the include because, like, the move there, if you can do the same folder. So, yeah, just. I have to adjust that, so yeah, then we can close that. So in here, we're including minhook and main.h, then in uh, main.cpp, this is like the one proc stuff. This is all the stuff for working swap buffers. Then this is the minhook initialize, play swap buffers hook, that calls this. And then uh, during the destruction phase, this is the stuff you need to add, this is uh, to remove the swap buffer hook, then the like, unhook, initialize, uninitialize, stuff like that. So yeah, um, start off by just having a print, and once you have the print working, uh, add the rest of this, add the rest of this, you, you need to have the return as well. So start off with the print and then the return, and then add the rest of this stuff. So I made two new files, graphics.h and graphics.cpp. So this just has the render test function, which uh, is being called here. And as you can see, I'm including graphics.h. So this is the render test. It just makes a, um, like a simple square GL pods, just four points. So just a really simple test. Then in uh, build.bat, Add buffer.c, hook.c, trampoline.c, and hd64.c, and then graphics.cpp because that's the new file that was made. And for the linker, add minus l OpenGL32. So that just uh, links the OpenGL32 library. Also, um, VS Code is gonna say there's a bug. This is just VS Code being stupid because I'm coding in C++, not visual C++. So yeah, let's uh, build this. Alright, I'm going to inject this and we should see the square pop up. So as you can see, it's a swap buffer to the program. And we have this uh, box, and yeah, it has like fixed position and stuff. So yeah, it's like this. You can like go in game. Yeah. All right, so we got swap buffers working. Now let's see how to render stuff. First thing we do is hook swap buffers. We did that. Now we need to use OpenGL. And to use OpenGL, we just, you know, need to set some stuff up, so... Step 2 in setting up OpenGL is to install Visual Studio, CloudMake, Glue, GLFW, and like, 5 or 6 other useless libraries. But this is step 2, so what is step 1? Step 1 is believing this guy. He says, you need all of this, because you do, and giving no further explanation, which is really stupid. In reality, you already have OpenGL on your computer, all you need to do is just use it. And this means all these blue libraries are optional. Visual Studio is optional. It's not necessary, so we can just use something like Glad to access all the functions, which I'll show you how to set up. To set up Glad, go to this site, then select C++, OpenGL, compatibility, and version 3.3. And scroll down, hit generate. Download the zip. and open it up. So we have these uh, two folders. So now 
in your thing, go to MinGW and into the include folder. So this is the path that you should have. So in here, these are all the like libraries that you would install. So I'm gonna include, take these two folders and direct and drop them in. So now we have these two. And what this allows us to do is to remove the previous stuff and do this. So now we are including the GLAD library, which is located where we just installed it. Next thing we do is go back up and take the GLAD.c file. So I'm going to make a new folder and just call it GLAD. And uh, space it in. Okay, so this is GLAD.c. Then in build.bat, add the uh, slash GLAD. GLAD.c. So just add the new file. So what we just did is we replaced the OpenGL includes with the GLAD one. And all of the OpenGL functions have been redefined to use GLAD. So yeah, this is now defined in GLAD.h. This is defined in GLAD.h, everything is defined in GLAD.h. The last thing we need to do is initialize GLAD, which we can do like this. We just need to call the GLAD loader. And this needs to be done in the swap buffers function. You cannot do this in main, it needs to be done in here. So just make sure you have that. So now let's try running this. As you can see, swap buffers is running. We have a box, but the difference is that now we're using the GLAD library and all the functions are defined in GLAD. And what GLAD does is it just gives us access to all the OpenGL functions. So yeah, that's it for this video. In the next one, I'll show you how to make like a ESP or draw strings, something like that. open at night. I expected a few people to come in, but it was packed. I couldn't believe how many people showed up. So I don't know where Trevor and Corey took all those flowers, but a lot of people showed up and it was like a high class crowd. All right, Jay Rock's on the mic tonight. Let me see your hands up. We're doing it right. Hands up. Throw your hands up. Throw your hands up. Oh, yeah. Throw your hands up. Throw your hands up. Throw your hands up. Oh, yeah. It's all about the ladies, dude. It all really about is. Ladies. It is, man. It's so cool. And the best part is, is with us getting everything and getting all the gear, we're kind of responsible for the whole bar happening. So it's kind of like our bar. It's pretty we're much. cool. We're going to be like VIPs. I think Julian was the first one to notice, but I knew something, something weird was up. It was all guys there. Nice clothes. Nice clone on. You know what I'm saying? Sarah was the only girl there. I noticed that right away. Guys, guys, let me talk to you for a minute over here. Just curious, uh, where'd you hand out those flowers I gave you about the bar? It's this new bar, it just opened up. Yeah, dude, it was dope. We were dancing and shit. We had a great time, man. What was the name of it? Oh, uh, it was like oh. Empty Closet. Yeah, empty yeah. Closet. You guys don't have a clue, do you? What? Well, that makes sense. You know, it was just good. It was mostly guys and stuff, and they were asking for Madonna and different kinds of music like that, which was cool, but I didn't really think much of it. Julian was the first person to notice that something was a, a little out of the ordinary. So, who are the ladies? Oh, this is Chantal. Chantal. Is How you doing? My friend Julian. Chanty. Nice to meet you. These guys are great guys, by the way. Thanks. Have a good night. Oh, Thanks, Julian. Right. Thanks, you too. Yeah, Julian and I go way back and shit. 
he's really cute. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's cool. We stole all the stuff yeah, to open up this bar. Is it nice? Yeah, he's cool. Kind of, I'm like kind of, I can't like travel stuff. We yeah, all the time. I'm like his big brother, except I'm younger. Do you guys got any Jimmy hats? No. Man, that's all right, though. Thanks, man, for the hookup tonight. That's dope. The only two ladies in the place, man. Hey. Oh, I didn't... Did you do anything? I didn't, I didn't do, do anything. anything. Did you do anything? No, unless you did. I didn't. No, I, I didn't. If you did, I don't know. I mean, but even if he did do something, I don't... I don't... I think technically, like, if... If the girl did something to you and you didn't do it back, like, that's... You didn't really do anything. 